In October 2020, I was here with the City News team. We were here upon a call, distressed one, from residents who said they were living in a flooded area and praying for government intervention. When we arrived, the story was a harrowing one. This spot where I'm standing now was a sea. Indeed, it was so flooded, vehicles found it difficult moving on this road in Agape Top in Ablekuma in Accra. Let me give you a quick summary of what transpired on that day. Now, this road from Pentecost Junction, as they call it, to Agape, only courageous drivers are able to swim through, as you see in there. Shops that are, you know, along this stretch have had to close because you are either going to be willing to fold your, your, your apparel and walk to your shop and hope that the buyer will do same or you don't come at all. Now, the side of the road has no drainage, uh, which means the road is essentially the drainage. Drivers here are faced with a dilemma. Uh, those who are familiar with the road, like this uh, uh, green Benz bus, uh, would go through. And you can see the car literally swimming uh, through that puddle of water. Uh, this truck, though, is returning uh, because he does not trust if he can go through. If I were living here, perhaps that brown gate, anytime I... This is what I have to do, literally. Take off my shoes. First of all, and hope that my feet will not land in trouble. If I were having a bag, it would be behind me while I hold my shoes and walking to the house. As I feared, the house is also flooded. This is Lucas Tenge's rabbit farm, or what used to be Lucas's rabbit farm. And the farm is like on Zulezu now. It's like a stilt. Now, that was a story in October 2020. A very dire situation. Authorities had given assurances that the problem would be fixed. Several months on, we are back and there's no drain along this road. The good thing, though, is that the sun is shining and the shops are open today. I'm going to move in and speak to some of the shop owners to see if anything changed over the past six months. The last time I came here in October, you people had closed your shop. Is it the case that you closed that day because you can't access it or you had not rented this place at that time? Yeah, because of the rain, that's why I closed the shop. How long do you have to close your shops for during the rainy season? Oh, maybe you can close uh, by two weeks or three weeks. Yeah. You come here at all? Yeah, you won't come here at all because of the rain. Yeah, indeed, the only shop that was opened on the day we covered this story is open today. Let me go in and speak to the owner who spoke to me the last time uh, to see if anything has improved at all. From the last time we came here. Last time now, Ebaha no. Na nsua fa ha nyina. Okay. Ah, okay. Ese ni ama. Oh, ese me ni ama bebre. Ya bo si me nsua ni bibia a change bi, ana bibia sesan wa. Oh, da bi. Obianse ya mpo mu ka fi. Ya ba tu abana mu no mbe juju. Ai ba bi o mba fa no pe. Now, this is the edge of the road where ordinarily there should have been a drain. There is no drain, and when it rains, the water from this untarred road moves into these shops like it happened last year. Indeed, this is the entry point. Another place I visited on that day is this house adjacent. Now, the entrance to the house was flooded, and on that day, when I had to walk in, I've had to remove my nice looking shoes to wade through these waters. Today it's dry and we are going in to see what's happening to the gentleman who owns this house who the last time was crying. The compound looks dry, unlike what we witnessed the last time. 
the grass is recovering uh, the trees seem livelier on that day this place was a place where people were unhappy they were frustrated uh, because rain had come and uh, destroyed their rabbits hello sir you make a picture of them. The last time I came here, you you were for me, Jim Malafia. And today, today you are today you are laughing. You are not as gloomy like. Oh, as for that day, it was what life and death matter. So, uh, the the situation has not changed. But today there's no water here, so I can I can afford to. You have dry land. Yeah, uh, at least for today. So nothing has happened since we last came. Here. The last time when you came was in October. October, yes, in uh, early December. After that, we 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 had hot interactions with the ministry works, as you, I think you are aware. Mm -hmm. So they sent us to the hydrology people. We went there, we met them, we left a letter as uh, an association. So the promise was getting back to us. They were not forthcoming. We pursued them. So one of uh, early December, the engineer came here and he assessed the place and he saw that oh, it was very pathetic. So he decided to help. He called the MC. He told me that the, the, there were no contractors available, but I should keep on calling. So I, the following week, I called. No response. This morning, this morning, I called them. So I was. Maybe this country, the only language we understand is Takashi. Let's, let me take you with my camera to your rabbit farm. The last time it was an island for the rabbits. Lots of them had died. Can we see what is the situation in dry It looks land? like a, a desert. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks good today. Have you costed how much you lost the last time? I lost almost 200 animals. So if I uh, should if you multiply the 500 by uh, 60, 200 by 60, it's, it's 60 cities. 60 cities. The, the, the medium ones go for 60 cities. Uh -huh. Then apart from that, the cages that were destroyed, see, still I have not repaired some of them. Some that are completely damaged, I destroyed them. So uh, <laughs> it, it is for somebody like me with this small farm, it's something is huge. It's huge. The clouds are, are forming. If it rains today to the volumes that it rained last year. Yes. Oh, would it, you, would it, this place it will be worse. It will be worse because the back here, this is the, 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 the lagoon that, or that receives the water. Mm -hmm. It's full. Ordinarily, people get excited when it's about to rain. No, 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 no. Yeah, as for me, my children, even when my children are in town and there's a cloud in Tema or Accra, they will start calling. Right now, my daughter's uh, a suitcase is in another person's house. So in case anything happens, she'll go there. She won't come there. What do you hope to see done? The only thing we are asking for now just the, the drainage for the water to go. As for the road, anytime the government is ready, they can do it. But now this one is life and death matter. People were telling me to relocate. Even the former minister himself, he said, we, those of us who are affected, we should relocate. Why exactly am I? I'm, I'm, I'm not even a simple pensioner with a problem at my back. What is my pension this where I rent even now I cannot rent. I cannot rent even a chamber at hall. So I have no alternative. I will be inside. If I die, I die. If I survive, I survive. So I'm just praying that the government will have mercy upon some of us. Mercy we are we are pleading. We are pleading. We pray that the government listens to you and thank you and we wish you all the best. Thank you. And I must commend you for your effort too coming to follow up. I think you deserve the commendation. We hope that the people who are supposed to do the job do the job. All we have is a microphone and a camera. We'll tell the story and hope that the duty bearers listen and act. This is City Newsroom on City TV. This is Dakuma Junction, also known as Kokompe, 
a hub for the selling of spare parts. When I was here in October 2020, this particular scene, I brought you a story of how it gets flooded anytime it rains. Several months on, we are back here to see if anything has changed at all. Let me speak to the mechanics who generally operate in this area. Oh, Still now, last two weeks and so to here, the same flooding pass up by beam. She is a sign. 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 And do it for us. But who should we blame if the gutter is choked? It is the people here who put the rubbish inside, or no, no, the the, the rain came from top, so and they're coming. Mm -hmm. uh, when the rain was coming, then it choked on this here. How does it affect your business as drivers? When the rain was coming, right there, every car was not back here. Every car was go. Recently, they brought some people here to come and then clean up the gutters. Every year they have been doing it when it's about to be rain. They do it and immediately it rains, the place got flooded again. So the cleaning of the gutters is not the solution that we need. We need a permanent solution. Because whenever it rains, I tell you, my brother, you can't stand. You have to pack and go home. Thank you. So a permanent solution is what he wants. Um, that permanent solution though has been eluding the people who work and live around Kokompe and Akuma Junction here in Accra. Now let's go and get a general picture of Accra. How prepared are we as a city? What do the city authorities think? Are we really a resilient city that, like we've been claiming? Kojwajiman of the city newsroom has been out and about. 